Hello everyone, in this video we'll try to learn how to set up proxy manually. So in previous video, right, I've just uh, shown you how to enable and disable proxies. So if you haven't watched, right, if you want to know about that, right, you can just watch my previous video. But in this video, right, we'll try to learn how to set up proxies manually. So let's just open up Blender Video Editor. But if already, right, if I just want to show you the proxy setting is set to automatic. So what I can do is, right, I can just leave it as automatic and then just import the file. So let me just take this file and just import it here. So now if you see, right, Blender is automatically creating the proxy for that particular file let me just show you this is around of only 34 seconds of a video so if it is more right it might take longer time but this is a high resolution video right so it is taking much longer time so let me just cancel this proxy creation and then if i go in this section right and then you will see the proxy is the bl underscore proxy folder it is getting created so let's just what i will do i'll just delete this or do it a manual proxy setup so i'll just adjust it properly and then this is the video and then if i just hover right so if you see right i'm just it is very much hard to hover easily so it's taking a lot of lag because it doesn't have any proxies created right so that's how uh, it is blender is making getting a hard time to show you real-time data and then get that data and display you to preview right so this is where the proxies are very useful so let's just create proxies manually so what you have to do is that you have to go to this section okay, and then go to proxy so if you see right there is option like strip proxy and time code so this is the option but if you right, you can see it is set to 100 percent but there's one more option which i wanted to show you so custom proxy so by default right blender creates proxies where your original video file exists i've shown you that bl underscore proxies file directory got created just deleted it by default it creates in that location but if you don't want it right, you can just give your different directory location so that it creates the proxy into that particular location but i usually don't use that much i'll just leave as it is default i'll just disable this here is the option so what happens right the resolution so if you want to have that 100 percent resolution right or so you can set it to there but usually you i prefer 25 or 50 percent and then just the quality right it doesn't reduce the quality and then quality is, is the same as it match so like if i try to do right rebuild proxy now so it starts so if you see it it is much more faster compared to previous one but it is not that much of faster so let me just cancel this it, it just created one more directory here if you see right so this is what i wanted to show you but i want to make it much more faster right so what i will do i'll just make it as 25 percent you can select multiple options as well so if you see right 25 50 100 percent all three are got selected so but i don't want that i want only 25 percent but the quality is right let's just make it as one so it might you might see the quality has been reduced now if i just create a rebuild proxies right so if you see right it is going very faster so let's just create it and build it and then we'll wait for some time it depends on what type of video and how much resolution or high quality video this is so based on that it takes some time as it is only 32 second right but it is in high quality video it is taking much of time i just wait so so now the proxies have been built right let me just play and show you the video if you see right it has still lagginess even if we build the proxies right so, so what we can do is right we can do some more additional stuff so what i will do is that i'll just uh, go here and type n button so that it comes up this option and then go to view and then there is the option like proxy render option so what you can do is right you can just set it to 25 percent what you have done it here so what i will do I'll make it as 25% here there is option which prefresh frames as well so what prefresh frames it does right so it it makes sure that the frames advance so that it reaches to the pattern the play had reaches to that particular stuff so it makes sure that it do some hard computation and then try to fetch uh, some more additional frames which are coming in advance so that's what it does and it is very useful in in this scenario so if you see right the quality of this has been reduced so you might see blur uh, stuff let me just show you if you see right now if i hover right it is very fast so previously it was not letting me do hover also very fast so now if you see right it is very much fast and then if i play right it is very good and then it is playing as normal video the good thing is right uh, so when you try to export right let me just set preference to strip so that it plays entire video plays the entire video and then the quality has been reduced but the good thing is right when you render the output right it 
takes up this and whatever the resolution you have set it here it doesn't affect your end quality let me just show you quickly so what i meant to say is that if i try to render image right i want to show you that it doesn't affect your end quality of that video so if you see right the end quality of the particular image it is same what we were working this is dependent on this particular section what you have the end quality doesn't prefer so if you render it the actual quality will be the same so this is how you can work with proxies and try to reduce um, the lagginess kind of stuff and then you can easily uh, work with that so let me just show you if i try to uh, use my blade option and try to cut right wherever you want right you can easily cut and then easily drag all those things if easily let me just show you what i mean to say is easily work and then easily drag the files wherever you want so this is very useful when you have a huge file with high resolution and then you want to work very quickly and then don't have any lagginess issue right so this is useful if you feel like this has helped you so please like share and subscribe thank you all for watching bye bye